Hey everybody, what's going on? Just back with another video. So I was just watching a little bit of a question period today, and um, I just wanted to play a really, really funny clip of Pierre Polyev just absolutely just embarrassing Justin Trudeau even more than usual. So just let's have a look, and then we'll react after. Uh, we'll talk about it a little bit like, like usual. Not a chance. That's what the president of the Residential Construction Associate Council said when asked if this prime minister would keep his promise to build 3.9 million homes by 2031. So let's hear it from the prime minister. To, to reach that target, you have to build 550,000 homes per year. So yes or no, will the prime minister hit the target of 550,000 homes this year, yes or no? no. The answer is no, by the way. Canada is facing a housing crisis, and we need to take real action towards it, which is what we've done with the most ambitious and uh, achievable plan uh, that this country's ever seen. But, Mr. Speaker, that's not to say we haven't had housing crises before. It is not to say we haven't solved housing crises before. Not At the you. end of World War II, there was a need for massive new housing, and Canada stepped up and got that housing built. Indeed, when the boomers came of age, there was a need for massive housing, and we made investments, and the federal government helped build housing across the country we? for boomers. We are doing that now as we build housing. The Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Was a wonderful history lesson, except he didn't answer the question. He promised he'd lower housing costs in 2015. He doubled them. He promised he'd double home building. And he, it actually went down and is still dropping. But now he's promising 3.9 million brand new homes by 2031. That means he'd have to build 550,000 this year and every year. So once again, will the Prime Minister... <laughs> keep his promise to build 550,000 homes this year, yes or no. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Leader Opposite speaks of 2015. Well, we took office with a commitment to get this government back, the federal government back in the business of building housing. We launched a national housing strategy in 2017 that put two and a half million Canadians into new or refurbished homes, and we continue to invest ever since. We're building homes on public lands. We're converting underused federal offices into homes. We're taxing vacant lands to incentivize construction. We're building apartments, bringing rents down with top of city apartment construction loan program. We're scaling up modular housing. We're launching Canada Builds to lead a Team Canada effort to build more homes and more, Mr. Speaker. Here it comes. The question was not how quickly he could read off talking points written to, for him by his staff. The question was whether he's going to break yet another housing promise. Remember, he promised he'd lower housing costs, he doubled them. He promised he'd double the, co the number of homes built. They went down. Now he's promising 3.9 million new homes by 2031. After he's already said it previously that the the building houses is not a federal, a top federal concern. I'm paraphrasing. That's not an exact quote. I can't remember the exact quote. But he basically said, we're not concerned about it. This isn't our problem. And then Canadians said, when they went to the polls, they said, fuck you. It is a problem. And now it's like, oh, okay, fine. We'll build 4 million houses in six years. Right. Name a time in history where that's ever been done in Canada. Or even close. Means 550,000 new homes this and every year. Will he keep that <laughs> promise? Yes or no? The right on. 
honorable prime minister. The speaker, the leader of the opposition's criticism is there's too many measures in our housing plan. Housing uh, should be solved by a simple one-size-fits-all solution, according to the leader of the opposition. That's perhaps how he managed to build only six affordable homes when he was minister of housing. Because yes, we have a broad range of initiatives that are delivering on housing, like topping up the housing accelerator fund with $400 million, a new $6 billion Canada Housing Infrastructure Fund to help communities build. We're leveraging transit funding to build more homes. We're launching a housing design catalog. We're incentivizing <laughs> more skilled trade workers. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. He's announcing a catalog, everybody! <laughs> Oh my God. You might end up in a tent, your rent is doubled, but hey, you've got a brand new catalog. <laughs> speaker. The question was will he build 550,000 new homes, yes or no? Okay, I'm going to cut it off there. That was the part I, I wanted you guys to see. Just, yay, he's building a catalog. Everyone give him a round of applause, and it's just the most sarcastic round of applause you've ever heard. And then I love how he just kind of repeats the question when Justin Trudeau doesn't answer it. And every time Trudeau doesn't answer it, he speaks to him like he's a little kid. Yes or no. Talking nice and slowly so that you understand me. To be fair, that's pretty much how you have to talk to all liberals these days. I mean, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And that's why they vote for a guy like this. Who gets humili humili uh, humiliated every day or every time they have question period. I mean, I, I, I haven't watched this whole thing. I'm sure this is, that couldn't have been the only embarrassing thing. Usually like when Trudeau embarrasses him, himself, it's like, okay, a couple here and there, and then just like a big stumble. And there's 10 things in like two days that he's embarrassed himself on. So I'm sure there's other things that he <laughs> can really clown on Pierre, on trusted Trudeau for doing. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just an, it's endless gaffes. It's endless bad policies. It's endless um, scandals. It's just one bad thing after another. And finally, Canadians are, are sick of it, most of us. Thank Christ, because <laughs> this clown needs to be out of here even quicker than when, when he's going to be. I don't know how Canada's going to survive another, what are we got, a year and a half? 60, 15, 16 months, something like that to the next election. That's the only thing that's terrifying to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, definitely, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And uh, turn on that notification bell as well. That way you get notified every time I go live or I put out a video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll be back shortly with another video.